Yes, officials, unless it's absolutely necessary, don't travel. I think it's just really tough right now. It, we're not traveling, so it doesn't directly affect me. And I, I don't know, I tend to think it's whatever we can do to protect the kids and teachers and staff and administrators, for that matter, in the buildings. Last night, right before the start of the long holiday weekend, CPS asked families to reconsider their travel plans. Following updated guidance from the city's Department of Public Health announced earlier this week, the school district changed its travel policy, urging unvaccinated students traveling to any state, with the exception of Vermont, to quarantine for seven days when they return, even if they received a negative COVID test or quarantine for 10 days without testing. It's important uh, from my perspective that people just, you know, step back for a moment and ask yourself, how can I help keep other people safe? The latest state data shows COVID-19 outbreaks in schools tripled from last week to 81 statewide. Outbreak is now defined as at least two related cases in a school. For those who do travel in quarantine, CPS wants them to report the absence to their school so it can be marked as excused. Then after one school day, affected students will be provided with take-home school work, but they won't have access to remote instruction. What we are ex experiencing now is a failure to lead, a failure to administrate, a failure to plan, and it has to live at the feet of our mayor. She CTU Vice President Stacy Davis Gates says the district has already unenrolled some students who stayed home due to COVID concerns. The first week of school has been plagued with complaints about overcrowded hallways and lunchrooms, canceled bus service, and delayed COVID testing. She says there are currently more than 900 students, faculty, and staff in quarantine, but CPS has hasn't updated the numbers online. This has been the worst possible rollout at the worst possible time, um, potentially in our city's history. Um, it just leads to more uncertainty, um, frustration, and um, anxiety. Officials with the Archdiocese of Chicago sent families an email yesterday saying they are aware of the evolving city travel advisory, but they're maintaining their requirements of a 10 day quarantine or a negative test for unvaccinated students who travel. Ray and Micah. All right, Gander, thank you. And here are the latest numbers.